Welcome back. Both Ken, India and Vedanta are selling off as we await what the outcome is of the minority shareholders voting of Ken India, which is currently underway. It's Ken PLC as well as LIC whose vote will be crucial. Both stocks, by the way, are selling off quite rapidly. Uh, but moving on to the primary market, L&T Technology, uh, that's the engineering and R&D arm of L&T. That IPO opens today. It's going to be the second IPO from the L&T stable just in the span of three months. What should you do with this IPO? Santosh Yelapu of Angel Broking joins in now. Hi Santosh, afternoon. What would your recommendation be? Subscribe or avoid? And take us through the key reason for that. Hi Reema. Uh, we have a subscribe rating on the LNT Technology Services IPO. Uh, the reasons for uh, for this subscribe rating are first, the company is a pure play uh, a pure play engineering research and development company and it has uh, it is the largest player in india uh, this uh, this ERND space is characterized by under penetration uh, in uh, just 2% of the global work is sourced from india uh, in comparison to over 40 to 60 percent seen across other sp other areas like IT services and uh, business process management areas, uh, the company has continued to report above industry uh, industry growth rates in the historic historical in the last two years. We expect this trend to continue going forward. That is the first reason. Second reason is the company is being, as per as you know, the company has been uh, uh, company has been put up into the leadership quadrant across eight uh, verticals. And uh, these most of these verticals are high growth, high margin verticals. Uh, this is already being uh, getting exhibited that the uh, uh, this can also be seen that the company's EBITDA margins are also expand expanding on that count. Third thing is that there are few operating levers for the company in store. Uh, like uh, imp scope for improvement in the utilization levels, scope for improvement in their onshore offshore mix, which comforts us that the EBITDA, uh, the EBITDA margin expansion, which we have seen in the recent times, is expected to continue going forward also. Yeah. So uh, and. Uh, on a whole, we expect the company's strong financial performance seen in the last two years to continue going forward. Okay. The company is currently uh, there is no exact uh, uh, listed uh, listed company like like that of LNT Technology Services. Uh, the closest one being is Scient, which is uh, which has been trading at uh, around almost FI sixteen uh, P multiple of sixteen times, uh, the, and LNT Technology Services is trading at twenty one uh, is. The price band at, at the upper end, upper price band of eight sixty rupees, the company would be uh, uh, available at twenty one times FI sixteen yeah. APS. Right. Now, if you look at the uh, ROEs of the company, the growth right. rates or above industry growth rate mm -hmm. uh, trends of the company, yeah. the superior EBITDA margin and PAT margin profile of the company, mm -hmm. and the operating levers uh, going forward that could uh, further lead to this. Uh, ROE and EBITDA margin expansion. Considering all these parameters, we sense that the company has the potential to uh, continue to uh, trade at higher high, higher end of the valuations. And as a result, we have a subscribe rating okay. on this uh, IP. All right. Thanks so much, Sandosh, for joining in, explaining all that to us. So we believe that, in fact, it's a subscribe. So let's see what happens on that front. But we'll slip into a short break. Some of those stocks have really, uh, you know, they're taking a bit of a knock. So we'll come back and we'll continue our focus on the markets. Stay tuned.